Hi everybody, it's Smitty with our Tuesday video rant. This is a new feature uh, where I um, sort of give the headlines and uh, give you a, uh, a short take on all the uh, gossip available today. Uh, if you like it, please let me know at Sminty at yournewsdetroit.com. First off, let's deal with some old business, which was the Eminem, Sasha Baron Cohen uh, event at the MTV Music Awards. Guess what? It was definitely staged. According to a story in the LA Times, um, Sc- lead writer Scott Ackerman said the following uh, in a posting on his Tumblr blog. Yes, the Bruno Eminem incident was staged. That's all anyone wants to talk about, so let's get it out of the way. They rehearsed it at dress, and yes, it went far. It went as far as it did on the entire live show. Okay, you can stop reading this blog now. Good idea. Kathy Griffin, the comedian, said she guessed that it was uh, a put on. Well, thank you, Kathy. This show to confirms your best instincts. Uh, did you stay up and watch Conan O'Brien's debut on Tonight Show last night? I did not. Never been a big fan of Conan or Jay Leno for reasons I can't quite explain. I've always been a David Letterman guy, going back to the days when he had his early uh, mid-morning show on NBC. That show was never shown here. Channel 4 decided not to pick it up back then, but uh, I picked it up in other cities during a summer visit in the year, I believe it was 1980, uh, and was a big fan of his uh, late shows on NBC before he moved over to CBS. I have watched many, many full-hour Letterman shows, uh, and the time Jay Leno was on, never watched one entire Jay Leno show from start to, to end, uh, a departure from his predecessor, Johnny Carson, which was, uh, of course, I watched a great many Tonight Shows. To make a long story short, uh, I think O'Brien will have some problems as some of the uh, uh, polls show. Uh, he is, scores usually just above Jimmy Kimmel. It's a great opportunity for Letterman. Letterman uh, did the following last night. Um, he, uh, of course, idolized Johnny Carson and hoped to replace him, but now has been passed by twice. Um, he had got a call from his mother uh, who said, uh, well, David, I see you didn't get the, t- the Tonight Show again. One thing uh, to note, Dave is now 62. Time flies, and uh, his time in the sun uh, is far nearer the sunset than the sunrise. So it'll be perhaps an effort for CBS to do that. I always viewed Letterman as the uh, successor to uh, the late Fred Allen. Uh, those of you of a certain age may will remember Fred Allen, who died in the mid-1950s. Uh, sardonic, much a uh, less polished brand of comedy that was a little more quirky and a little more idiosyncratic as opposed to his contemporaries uh, like Bob Hope. Uh, we move on to Mel Gibson. People.com had a long explanation today of where Mel stands in the Catholic Church. Not the mainline Catholic Church. As you know, he produced The Passion uh, of, of Jesus Christ, the motion picture, a very uh, visceral, uh, a very realistic uh, uh, interpretation of the uh, of Christ's uh, um, uh, passion and death on the cross. Uh, to make a long story short, and again, I'm not going into theology, uh, Mel is uh, going to his traditionalist mass in California, but is not going to communion. Uh, why? Well, uh, he is, those people believe that a marriage lasts for life almost no matter what, and you are an adulterer, which by all evidence he, he, he is having uh, conceived a baby with his girlfriend, Oksana Grigoreva. Uh, these days, Catholics whose divorce can get a uh, ecclesiastical annulment, which will allow them to marry again. But Mel's branch of the Catholic Church doesn't even recognize the Pope. Uh, they're they're known in Latin as sede vacantis, and they believe that there hasn't been a legitimate, authentic, non-heretical Pope since Pope Pius XII died in the late 1950s. Uh, Mel will have to figure this out on himself, but uh, this is where being holier than thou sometimes gets you. Um, Natasha Henstridge, who was one of the more beautiful women in television and motion pictures, uh, confesses that uh, at 34, uh, she was uh, one of these actresses who strove to be thinner and took a lot of pills and over-the-counter supplements, which actually damaged her body. She's going to be in the ABC TV movie Impact, and... uh, uh, she is not as thin as she was, but she's healthier, which is a good rule for anyone uh, who is battling uh, the battle of the bulge in the modern day. Uh, and finally, just an activity note, um, on June 19th, Sunset at the Zoo uh, event at the um, Detroit Zoo, uh, brought to you by Our Detroit Magazine. Uh, it's a creative affair in support of the Detroit Zoological Society. There's a strolling supper uh, with... Um, uh, food provided by many of Detroit's finest, finest restaurants, 
Zuthi Martinis and Specialty Drinks. Um, it's 21 and over. Uh, to get your tickets, call 248-541-5717, extension 3750. That's all for today. I hope you enjoyed our video version. I'll be back tomorrow. This is Sminty for yournewsdetroit.com.